Hello, bandits. With thanks to the folks at Wired Productions and solo creator Thomas Sala, we've been delving deep into Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles. In Bulwark, players will embrace chaotic construction on the tempestuous waters of the Ursi. Leading one of the world's great houses, you'll look to rebuild the landscape following a cataclysmic war some decades ago. Players will create settlements and trade routes with streamlined resource management and building controls. Resource management itself uses distance rather than quantity to limit building, meaning that most of the time players are given unrivaled freedom of creation. Your new settlement on the Ursi will bring together various factions, architecture and commanders, as well as unique buildings which give various buffs and enhancements. You'll need to balance power within your new home carefully to ensure that rival factions don't gain or lose too much influence, which can have a negative effect on your sprawling colony. There are other settlements spread throughout the Ursi as well, and it's up to players to decide whether they'll look to trade and build their empire, or take their falconeers and warbirds to the sky and turn once again to fighting an ancient enemy. Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles is rated by Peggy at 7 and above, and by the ESRB is everybody 10+. There is combat in the title as well as some mild language according to the ESRB, but overall the freedom of building an offline single player only gameplay means that it is pretty safe. Violence is limited to executive control with very little detail and no gore, and we've not noticed any bad language which would concern us at all. Overall we're giving it a rating of family friendly and it's definitely one we're going to let our micro bandits have a go with. And with that stacked up onto the rundown, our 5 point rating for Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles. Gameplay 4. While it's been streamlined, gameplay within Bulwark remains really engaging. It's definitely one of the more innovative titles we've seen of late and it will definitely need long-term builders and strategy fans to unlearn old habits and get used to a new way of working. Overall, I've really enjoyed the chaotic freedom of building and discovery here on the Ursi. Visuals 4. The art style for Bulwark is wonderful and really complements the rough and ready build anywhere nature of the title. There are some rough edges if you get up really close, but most of the time it is a pleasure to look at with some distinct character. Audio 5. The audio in the title really stands out with some great voice acting and decent effects. The score itself is wonderful and is incredibly well complemented by weather effects to help bring the Ursi to life. Narrative 2. There is certainly some narrative here, especially as factions vie against each other, but I would definitely like to see more in terms of story campaigns. It is fairly light touch currently and I am hoping that this is fleshed out a little more in the coming update roadmap. Replay 5. Once you get out of tutorial mode, players can switch up various factions, locations and other options and dive back into the game again. With the chaotic nature of building and the randomised encounters, I have found each build to be different and worthwhile. Overall, our Pixel Bandits, uh, see what you made me do, level for Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles is a very respectable 8 out of 10. Bulwark delivers an innovative and streamlined builder which provides players with a great amount of freedom. It certainly has its foibles and I'd really like to see more in the way of story content, but overall I have had a lot of fun with it at a pretty low price for what you're getting. I'm also consistently surprised that the title has been made by a solo developer who has obviously poured their heart into making not only the game, but the world which sits behind it. Controls, while a little fiddly at first, have been well optimised as well, meaning that gameplay on console stands up well. Overall, Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles is a great game to pick up and play as it is, and the developer has already planned a year's worth of additional development, so we're very excited to see where it goes in future. If you're looking for a streamlined and cosy feeling city builder, even here between rough seas and soaring cliffs, you should definitely give it a look. As ever, to provide our review and common sense parents guide for PC and console, we received free copies of Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles from the folks at Wide Productions. And that's all we've got for you today. Check out the extended review at pixelbandits.org for more information on this one. If you found this helpful, a like, comment, share or follow might not cost you anything, but it really goes a long way to helping Pixel Bandits remain ad-free and independent. Either way, we hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.